Nobody knows the inside workings of Washington better than Josh Bolton. He served as the president of the CEO of the Business Roundtable at the pre present time. And its members include the CEOs of companies worth some $7 trillion in annual revenues. Earlier, Mr. Bolton served as chief of staff to President George W. Bush, and before that as head of OMB. Josh, thanks so much for being back with us. Give us your take. We had reports yesterday for, uh, coming out of the White House that maybe they're starting to make some progress toward a compromise among the Democrats, coming up at least with an overall price tag. Is that what your information is. Yeah, uh, information is the same that they're uh, that among Democrats they're getting closer to agreement. We'd much rather see a process uh, like a uh, the infrastructure bill that passed the Senate this summer, where uh, Republicans are involved as well. And in particular, since it's only Democrats negotiating on the reconciliation package. Uh, they're uh, they're working on skinning down a, a, a huge bill to a, a sort of a huge bill with a very damaging tax increase in, uh, included. And that's uh, that's why the business community is is uh, really all out in opposition to a huge tax increase that would undermine the competitiveness of U.S. business. Well, let me focus on that quite specifically, because one of the claims reported that President Biden is making to his fellow Democrats is, you've got to give me something to go over to Glasgow on those COP26 talks on with climate. And that is part of that reconciliation package. But as you say, it also includes taxation. I know the Business Roundtable specifically has been criticized for some, saying, wait a second, you're being a little hypocritical. Your companies say they really care about COP26 but you're against what's going on with climate change. I want to give you an opportunity to clarify that. Yeah, thanks, David. Uh, the members of the Business Roundtable are, by and large, all in on addressing climate change. A year ago, we came to a consensus among our 200-some members to not only say climate change is a problem and needs to be addressed, it's man-made, but say we, what we need to do is a, put a legislated price on carbon where that can be done uh, and really attack this problem. Individually, all of our member companies uh, are taking strong action on sustainability. So I don't think their commitment to addressing climate should be in doubt. The problem here is that some uh, beneficial provisions on climate are being combined with a uh, what looks to be about a $1 trillion corporate tax increase that would not only badly undermine the competitiveness of US business, but would make it harder for those very, very companies who are needed to help address the climate uh, situation by making investments make it much harder for them to make those investments because they wouldn't have the cash available to do it. So, Josh, I want to understand this if I can, because there's the tax issue, and I understand you're you're against the ta tax, and you don't want a trillion dollar a trillion dollars in taxes to the corporations. But on the climate side, are you saying we need a carbon tax, maybe a border adjustment tax as well, and let the markets take care of it, or by and large, is business roundtable open to the government actually spending some money on climate, things like charging stations, other investment in infrastructure? Yeah, open to both. Uh, um, the uh, concern in a lot of business with respect to dealing with climate is um, overly prescriptive and difficult regulation that actually distorts the market. We're only going to be able to solve this climate problem by unleashing the innovation of the private sector. And the private sector needs a market signal to, uh, to make the right kinds of innovations that are, uh, that are gonna be sustainable and address the climate change in the long run. And that means putting a price on carbon. That does, and, but by the way, that mean, there are also a lot of investments that need to be made by government in research and development and in stuff like charging stations. Those, uh, those are all on the positive agenda as far as the business roundtable is concerned. What's on the negative side, though, at the moment is overwhelming because the trillion dollar tax increase, just to size it for you, David, is roughly three times larger over a similar period than the Trump tax cuts of four years ago. So the uh, what's on the table is the prospect of very badly undermining the competitiveness of US business uh, in a way that puts us back to a situation substantially worse 
than uh, corporate taxation uh, um, uh, before the uh, before the 2017 tax cuts, which almost everybody agreed was out of line. Josh, finally, let me put you back in your old job as chief of staff to President George W. Bush. President Biden now is hot, heading over to this COP26 meeting in Glasgow. He's had a bumpy time of it the last month or two, I think it's fair to say. If you're in the White House, how do you get the initiative back on your side, whether it's COP26 or more broadly? Well, uh, bringing allies together is uh, is not only a great PR in this kind of circumstance; it's it's very badly needed. And so, getting getting agreement from our our friends and allies on a on a responsible path forward is a is a great way to do it. But if I can take us back for a second to the the tax issue, which is which is what my members are really concerned about at this moment. Uh, the uh, what what the administration has been proposing and is and a lot of what is pending on the hill would give the United States the highest corporate tax rate or, or close to the highest corporate tax rate of anybody President Biden will be meeting with. Um, we're supportive of an effort to get a global minimum tax in place. Uh, but what's on the table goes way beyond anything that they're even discussing making as a global minimum tax. So if you if you want to be a leader uh, for the uh, have the United States in the lead in uh, in this kind of endeavor uh, and bring our allies together, bring them together on a solid basis and don't hamstring American business. OK, thank you so much, Josh. Always love talking with you. That's Josh Bolton. He's president and CEO of the Business Roundtable.